Hi, and welcome to the Jelvix channel, where the Jelvix team eagerly shares industry best practices and insights from their rich project expertise. One of our recent projects, developing an electronic health record, has sparked great interest among our community. And humbled by the attention, the Jelvix teammates decided to dedicate this video to electronic health records technology. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. Before delving into the technology intricacies, let's clarify what electronic health records mean. By their nature, they're similar to a comprehensive repository of digital files with multiple medical data, including patient demographics, disease and hospitalization history, lab test results, radiology and other images, medical prescriptions, treatment plans, billing information, and much more. A built-in health information exchange solution enables seamless alignment and easy data access among various healthcare departments, laboratories, pharmacies, medical IoT, and patient portals. Many EHR systems also include extra features, like automated scheduling, insurance claims management, advanced analytics, clinical workflow automation, a system of alerts, and virtual appointments. Besides, artificial intelligence in EHR is gaining momentum. For example, Oracle Health integrated an AI-based voice recognition and audio-to-text tool into its EHR system to automate medical note-taking. And the use of AI in this domain can extend far beyond, encompassing predictive analytics, optimized workflows, enhanced diagnostic accuracy, and more. Now, considering all these complexities involved, the EHR project is no easy feat for developers. So, how can successful EHR development and implementation be ensured? I'm glad you asked. First, a successful EHR project starts from a thorough discovery stage of functionality requirements, data exchange workflows, user experience, and many more. Most importantly, it's crucial to recognize that there is no single answer to how a perfect EHR should look. Instead, Jelvix experts advise focusing on building a highly personalized system to perfectly align unique business needs with project objectives and outcomes. At this stage, it's also important to map out potential challenges and prepare a plan for mitigating these risks effectively. Another crucial aspect is adherence to the regulatory compliance standards, since a failure to do so could result in legal liabilities, along with operational and security risks. Once all of these specifications are gathered, here comes another step, defining the right type of EHR solution. Now, the challenge here lies in the wide variety of EHR systems based on the area of use and the type of hosting, and selecting the wrong one could lead to an unsuccessful project result. The right tech stack is another important aspect that directly affects whether the system can accommodate growing data volumes, enable efficient data processing, seamlessly integrate across diverse platforms, provide reliable backend support, facilitate agile development, deliver optimal mobile performance, and offer efficient navigation. And apart from the languages, the most suitable frameworks for EHR development should facilitate development efforts to enhance user experience, high security and scalability, robust data exchange, and accelerated time to market of healthcare applications. With all things considered, let's move on to the next stage of EHR development, which is EHR modeling and prototyping, which is essential for gathering feedback from stakeholders to ensure the right product fit. Create prototypes and mockups to visualize how the EHR will work and look, adhering to the best practices in EHR UX design, such as consistency, simplicity, and accessibility. As the design evolves, higher fidelity mockups can be developed to simulate the precise look and feel of the EHR system. After that, off we go to the design and development stage. To ensure its success, Jelvix experts recommend planning the progress review with stakeholders every couple of weeks. A comparatively short iterative cycle can enable the team to incorporate valuable feedback and refine the software efficiently until it meets the desired standards. Conversely, inadequate iteration planning can impede project progress, inflate development costs, and compromise EHR system quality. Additionally, testing and QA processes should be ongoing throughout the development life cycle. It'll help to detect and resolve issues early, ensuring the final EHR product meets all quality standards and functional requirements. In doing so, multiple tests should be performed, such as security testing, user-centered testing, comprehensive test coverage with edge cases and error scenarios, and others. Above that, Jelvix teams ensure data migration activities overlap with the testing and QA stages. This way, while the development team is building and testing the EHR system, data migration specialists can simultaneously extract, transform, and load data from legacy systems into the new EHR platform. This approach allows for early identification and resolution of any data quality issues. It's also essential to adopt a phased approach where data is first deployed into the staging environment for testing before being transitioned to the production environment, ensuring seamless integration. Finally, we reach the EHR launch stage. So let's open up the champagne. But before that, ensure effective strategies for training, user support, change management, compliance, performance testing, and governance are implemented. Last but not least, as promised, we'd like to highlight some high-ranked, ready-to-go EHR systems for some inspiration. 
On behalf of the Jelvix team, we wish you a successful EHR project ahead. Next, we recommend watching our recent video on health tech trends. Support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.